right guys so welcome back to the channel as you can see today we're going to be restoring this 1969 hot wheels custom charger and it's not looking pretty good somebody did a number on it painted it blue i think it's enamel blue they did the hood in black check out the base custom charger US made we have a little problem here on the cowl I think that's how you pronounce it so I already went ahead and uh, pre-drilled and I'm using 172 button head screws it's a little shorter one on the front because of the engine bay. You can see that US made cars have that split axle. Let's check out the interior. You can see we have paint on the windshield. No problem, we're gonna fix that. The interior is looking good. We just gotta wash that one. So I've stripped the car using the paint stripper uh, I think it was two days inside the Rostolium paint stripper and now we're gonna clean it using this uh, lime away 50% water 50% lime away As you can see it does have a lot of toning and notice that I left the original wheels on just to protect that little bearing the plastic bearing so once you take it off you clean it up with a brass brush and it's gonna end up looking something like this so I filled up a sock with rice and the idea is to put the car in the oven 170 degrees leave it there for a while and then using the center punch the back part I'm gonna tap it push it and hopefully uh, it'll go back to its original place without breaking that's the whole purpose of heating the car but for now let's work with the windshield it's been inside the EC off I decanned the EC off make sure it's the blue one it's been in there for over 24 hours So let's uh, dig it out. And look, the paint is coming right off. Now it did have a a little patch like it was stained so I'm busting out the turtle wax rubbing compound and I'm gonna hit it with the Dremel I use this very soft uh, adapter here do not stay in one place too long move along because you will damage the windshield. So I'm going to speed up the video. And there you can see it looks almost brand new. So I'm going to dip it on pledge and we'll deal with that at the end so here comes the car out of the oven it's very hot there you can see the the purpose of the sock filled with rice now it did go way too far but that's not a problem let me show you how I fix it this is a 256 nylon lock nut 
glued to a piece of one of those sticks that you could get at Starbucks. You, I think you've seen me use this before. So I got my little hammer here, and I'm going to use my uh, center punch. So the nylon and the piece of wood are not going to leave a marking on the casting. It all works together. And by the way, the lock knot is glued to the piece of wood. So there I just whack it. I'm inspecting it. It's almost there. So I basically just keep repeating it until I'm happy with it. So let's go over to the paint booth. Get this thing painted. So I'm going to use Redline Shop Base Coat. I'm in love with this thing. I don't think I'll ever polish another car. I'm going to be using Big Bertha for this. Big Bertha is now tuned in perfect. It looks like there's a lot coming out, but it's not. It's just perfect, and you're going to see what I mean, because you see I keep hitting and hitting it, and there is no paint puddles. took me a while to tune it, but it's now perfect. I could squeeze that trigger and I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to let it roll here so you can see just what I mean. Make sure you get the inside and this is why I love using the base coat. It protects from that toning coming back. And it will keep the car from getting uh, those toning marks. And this is the second coat. In between coats, I put it in the oven. It was there for like five, ten minutes. I was busy doesn't doing something else so a lot of people like to use the antifreeze I don't know what color uh, we could go orange I don't have a lot of orange left red I do have an RLC exclusive Dutch charger which is already orange but here it is lime apple I'm gonna go with lime apple here is another stick from Starbucks I cut a piece you can see the the base coat it kind of sticks the hood but it does come off because it, it's been out of the oven for a while now and I'm just sticking that little piece there so I could when I paint I could get the side of the hood and it looks a lot better in my opinion. And this is one long tight coat. So you gotta remember the car is so hot coming uh, out of the oven that uh, the paint dries very quickly. So now I'm going to take off the little piece of wood and I'm going to hit it with another coat. The car is not hot hot but it's still hot. And we are back. I already hit it with the second coat. You can see that dark green using my exacto knife to open up the hood again 
because we are about to hit it with clear coat. I do not use the Harden for the Spectra Flame paints. I don't like using the Harden because um, if I have paint left over, I can't put it back in the jar. That's why I prefer just to use clear coat at the end. And as you can see, I use the rattle can polyurethane. If you watch my previous video, the rattle can challenge, you can see, understand why it's wet. So let's address the base. Let's cut out those old worn out wheels. Be very careful not to cut the the bearing. And I always, uh, like always, everything I use, I will have a link on the video description down below. So I got some bright vision, deep dish wheels just the ones I like yes I know deep dish wheels belong on Hong Kong cars early Hong Kong cars to be exact and I also misplaced the tool the alignment tool I don't know where it is so I'm using another piece of metal here to do the best I can until I receive the other ones I order I'm going to be using uh, these uh, Molotov acrylic paint pens. Yes, the same brand that does the chrome pens. First, I'm going to hit the tail lights with the Milwaukee Sharpie. I've mentioned before that I prefer using the Milwaukee brand for the red. Uh, in my opinion, it gives a better looking better looking red so I do one coat I leave it I'm gonna work in the front and then I'll come back and do another coat so I'm using the black marker here you gotta remember this paint is a flat so it's not shiny that's why I'm not gonna use it for the tail light because if I do use it then I'm gonna have to clear coat the the tail so I it, the paint becomes uh, glossy so I'm using a little very fine tip brush the paint is not thick so it just falls into the little crevices very nice All right, remember the glass? So here it is after dipping in, in pledge. It's been a few days. That's why I always do the, the windshield first. So as a reminder, let's take a look at what we started with. You can see the car all beat up. And here it is the finished product. What a difference, huh? So you can see, we could open the hood very nice. The clear coat did not seal it because of uh, the trick I used. Here is the base with the screws. I've seen a lot of people don't show the base after the car is done. I feel like it's an important part of the car. So I'll be waiting on that tool to align 
the wheels better and that's it guys make sure if you if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel clicking that little bell so you can get notified of any upcoming videos I'll just leave it here turning thank you for watching